Traditional weapons alone are not winning the battle. The unconventional war against rhino poaching needs innovative solutions. While the poacher's modus operandi changes, conservationists too have upped the ante. A 29-year-old ecological officer at Sabi Sands has taken the fight to his iPad. Michael Grosvenor designed an app that records bullet projectiles, GPS coordinates and photographs of previously poached animals. I studied uh, conservation and at the moment we're fighting war. I'm not a military person. I have no interest in, in uh, going into the middle of the night carrying huge guns. So he developed the app to collate all the data from the poaching scenes. You can fill in everything from blood splatter all the way through to uh, just a out of the ordinary vehicle driving on the road that, that shouldn't be there. His technology has already caught the eye of environmental agencies in the US. He's even received an award abroad for his efforts. Far away from the bush, here at the Victory Theatre in Johannesburg, another young man is doing his part to preserve rhino populations through music. This 11-year-old piano sensation saw a rhino die before his eyes. He was moved to play his part. It was just sad to see our heritage dying right there. And my, maybe my children won't ever get to see it, so I wanted to put a stop to it. I'm using my musical talent. Three months and 30,000 rand later, this young muso's efforts will help in some way. But it's a far cry from what conservationists need now which is buy-in from all sectors to collectively curb the plight of rhino poaching. Yusuf Omar, Johannesburg. News that moves. ENCA.com.